Hey, so I went on Ultimate Team, right? And the first thing I always do is check the objectives. And then I seen this fucking ginger scaffolder guy here who's supposed to be a footballer and he looks fucking mint. Look at them stats, man. That's for free off the objectives, do you know what I mean? I've got to have that card. I've got to have that card. Win 15 matches using only League One players in the live foot friendly managerial masterpiece. Well, straight away that got me attention. I just thought, managerial masterpiece, what the fuck is that? So what you have to do is win 15 games, score 30 goals, assist 20 goals, score an outside the box goal in four different games and score a finesse goal in X amount of games, isn't it? So happy days, I am straight on that shit. Let's see what the actual rules are of this, because managerial masterpiece is, it's got me. I, I want to know what that is. Here it is. Managerial masterpiece. Do you build around one world-class player or go with a well-balanced team? Show off your managerial talents in his live foot friendly. So a maximum team rating of 77 with no bronze players and only three silver players. That means you can't just bang like Neymar and Mbappe in there and that from the French League. It's got to be an average rating of 77 without pulling them down with silvers. So you've got to basically make a mid-table fucking relegation fodder shit. I'm right up for this, man. Let's go and build the French West Ham. So we got Magai. We got Cubas. Who else have we got here? Let's have... Whoa, 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 whoa. Who the fuck's that there? Mama Balder. Get in that team, you daft cunt. Mama Balder. Mama Balder. Mama Balder. So we got Gail Kakuta. I think he's a former Chelsea rent boy from years ago. I'm not too sure. Uh, let's have a quick check what the team's looking like. That's me whistling in game there. Happy as Larry, I just can't wait to try this out to be honest. So we're just piecing the team together here. Hopefully you don't throw the average rating too high. Mama Baldy, I don't give a shit if he's good or bad. He's walking straight into that team. The guy's called Mama Baldy for fuck's sake. Uh, we got Inform Bamba there. He's probably going to be my star player. Yeah, so we just fixed the right back there because we had too many silvers. Hopefully it doesn't send the rating too high. Let's have a look. Nope, we're all good. Oh, no, we ain't kids no more. Ooh, ah, ah, yep, you're not in a dream. That is me singing on mic. Somebody needs to tell me to stop pronto. Now, this guy's got two decent players I need to look out for there. Ben Yedda, squeezed him in the team. Uh, no worries though, don't matter. We slot one through and bang, 1-0. Oh, he's ripping through the wing, and it's two. Surely not. Oh, it is. It's three. 20 minutes in, and he's paused it. Is he going to quit? Yes. Pusser. I think somebody needs to get a new team name. Anyway, on to the next one. Seriously, yeah, will someone tell me I can't sing because I need to stop that shit, that is awful. Anyway, so I had the first chance of the game, it was a bit of a shit one to be honest, blocked really easily, like, then he hit me on the break, I cleared it and then he just banged it in. Fuck you, who's that been here? So it's all going on, it looks like it's going to be a good game. And then suddenly, pause cued by our princer. Now I know any time anybody pauses the fucking game in the first half on Ultimate Team, it's bad news. Thing is, it's an all League One team, so I don't know what he'd really want to do, considering they're all going to have good chemistry anyway, unless it's moved someone in, you know, position thing, so bypass the chemistry type of thing. But I know a cunt when I see one, and I could smell fish. So the first thing I do when he pauses it is check who he's got on the bench and, well... Mbappe. How do people do it? I've got worse rated players in every single one on that team. If he brings Mbappe on, just watch what happens. He's run so the they're going to alter Mbappe. things. Here's the substitution. All right. Now bringing Mbappe on in a 77 rated match just rubbed me the wrong way. There's only one thing to do to this cunt. Let's waste his fucking time.
Well, if you want to bring Mbappe on and kill the game, then I'll kill the game in my way. So after letting the pause run all the way down, let's get back to the game. Hang on a minute. Did I leave the oven on? <laughs> Nope, silly me. Didn't leave the oven on. Let's get back to the game. Hang on a minute. Is that the front door? No, silly me. It wasn't the front door. It was just a pigeon flying past the window. Anyway. Sorry about that Mr. R Prince, I just had a sudden need to stretch my legs a bit. I give it as long as it'll take to let me kick off, pass it back to the keeper, and then cue the Benny Hill theme. Fucking little Mbappe cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, that takes a piss. Now I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> But I was feeling pretty smug about that. So now it's extra time. We've got another opportunity to steal even more time off this guy that is never going to get back. Let's go. Well, go on, do it. You do it, Adair. Go on. Oh, he got it. Dangerous looking attack. Teammate available. Terrific block there. Yes. Well, wasted opportunity here. Oh, come on, mate. You know you gotta do better than that. Oh, we're late into extra time here. Let's go for the winner. Uh, nah. <laughs> Extra time and I get a kick off now, is it? Sick. Now the only logical thing to do in this situation is kill the rest of extra time off and tech him to penalties. Who do you think's gonna be feeling the pressure more? Seriously. Take note of his stamina, by the way. Oh, it's fucking funny. It's <laughs> wasting his fucking time. Oh my god, I've got to win on penalties now. Go on.
And so we go again. After a final fail pause attempt, I give it as long as it'll possibly take to automatically kick the ball off itself. Send it back to the goalkeeper. And you know the rest. <laughs> So here it is, the moment of truth. We've stolen 20 minutes of his life that he's never going to get back. Now it's all come down to penalties. This will decide whether it was all worth it or not. We got him. We got me. We got him. We got me. We got him. We got me. Goalkeeper says, "Bring it on." Oh, the pressure's got to him. The Chelsea red boy steps up, bang, slots it in the bottom corner. It's all come down to this penalty. The keeper's taking the piss. He steps up, ping. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he can watch these as well, like, oh, fuck. The fucking little cunt. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call a true managerial masterpiece. Beautiful shot of him in the post there. The keeper's standing still. It's perfect. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell that's funny that 88% possession one shot on target one all one on penalties fucking mint and well after a showing like that there's only one thing left to do what's his name ah pincer ok let's send him a message <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.